calzada. Uh -huh. Qué bueno, qué bueno, me alegro mucho. Thank Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm really fine. Okay, that's really good to listen and to know. Okay, and what were you talking about? About work. Ah, okay, about work. I was telling, I was telling Sarita, this day I work here in my house. Only Monday and Tuesday I have to work out my house, but this day no. Okay, that's pretty really easy. <laughs> that's nice. Okay. Okay, so we are going to begin basically. Um, just remember me. What did we study yesterday? I have a bad memory, so tell me. We were studying about illness and the way we feel and we, what we have to take if we have a headache, stomachache, leg pain, the difference between pain and heart. Okay, excellent. Okay, really good. Uh, so today we are going to be studying, uh, well, we are going to start with section three that is about location and places, okay? Because remember that tomorrow we're having the midterm and we need to be ready. So I just want to make sure that everything is clear for you from section one, two, and today for, from section three, okay? Okay. Okay. Before going to this, third section that we have on the platform. Do you have any questions? No, teacher, I don't no. have a question. No? No, no, teacher. No. Okay. Okay, not a problem. Let me just take a second. Okay, yes, I have prepared something for you that we are going to be doing today. And this is about places, okay? Uh, we are going to begin, give me a few seconds, with the vocabulary that we have on the platform that is about places and things, okay? Uh, and then I'm going to be asking you some questions. Okay, so let's begin. Let me know if you can listen to the computer or if can't. So I'm going to share that right now with you. And here we go. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six, you can buy stamps at a post office. Seven, you can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight, you can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums.
Teacher, no salió yo. Yeah. Sorry. Sí, lo siento, me fijé que había puesto mute. Ok. Um, yo soy Pichelli. Ah, ok. Thank you. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Ok. Uh, basically, you could see that there we have some places and the things that we can do there. For example, we have the first one that was, which one do you remember? What was the first place we watched on the video? You don't remember? No? Okay, so we have that no. the first one is a bank. So what are the things that we can do in a bank? I can pay be the bank. Okay, you can pay bills. What else? You can save money. Okay, yeah, bank. you can save money. Excellent. What else? Traveler check. Okay, yes, you can buy traveler checks, but do we use checks? Usamos cheques nosotros. Para las oficinas. Yeah, probably to pay employees. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. That's what we use them the most. Okay, excellent. Let's see. The next place that we have or that is shown on the video is a drugstore. Okay, let me just share this again. Okay, so here we have a drugstore. Do you know what a drugstore is? Ah, I, I, I can pay aspirin. You can pay or you can buy. Buy, 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 buy. You can buy buy aspirins. Excellent. What else can you do at a drugstore? I can buy acetaminophen. Okay. Yes, you can buy acetaminophen. Excellent. What else? You remember can buy any kind of medicine yes you can buy any kind of medicine that's right remember that drugstores here in our country have different uh, things besides medicine remember that you can also go there and pay bills too or you can buy food for example okay uh, what about a post office? What things can you do there? You can go to send a letter. Okay, you can send letters. Mm -hmm. What else can you do? Uh, mm. Also, you can send package. Yes, excellent. Then we have a gas station. Let's see. What you, can you, say, you can send letters. You can send letters, yes. At a gas station or in a post office. In a post office. Okay, excellent. Okay, uh, we have a gas station. What things can we do there? You can buy gas oil okay. for our car too? Yes. Okay, what else? Can I buy coffee at a gas station? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. It, it, maybe. If okay. we have a, a restaurant, we can like take okay. a check on the road. Excellent. Yeah, I really like coffee. I love coffee. So most of the Me time too. I go to gas stations to buy coffee. 
I can buy a, I can buy lubricants for the car at the gas station. Okay, excellent. Okay, perfect. What about a restaurant? What things can you do there? In a restaurant, uh, we can take a cup of coffee with bread. Okay. We can eat meat, fish, chicken. I, I can buy a delicious pizza. Yeah, you can buy a delicious restaurant. pizza. Yes. Yeah, in coffee. A delicious hamburger. Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, what about a bookstore? How often do you visit bookstores? ¿Qué tan a menudo van ustedes a las librerías? I never go. Frequently. You never go, Graciela? Why? No, because in my phone I can get any book and I don't, I don't have to need to go. Okay. Sarita, you said that frequently. Yes. Okay. For paper, for okay. uh, CS, and, ay, for, ya le digo, for, for este, mm, eh, tinta para impresora. Ink. Ink. Yes, to buy ink. Y por pencil. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, with bookstores, I really love reading, believe me. I used to buy one or two books a month. So you can imagine how my bookshelf is. I have around 50 or 60 books, I think. And I really love I reading. Happen, uh -huh. I have I happen to go to library when they leave a homework for my for my daughter. Okay, so you used to go. Uh, yeah. Usually. Okay, excellent. Okay, good. Um now let's see, what about department store? For example, let me see a department store here. We can say um, Diman or Prisma Moda. Uh, what else? You can buy Jeans. shoes, okay. shirts. Yes. Jeans. Okay. Okay, excellent. And the supermarket. Oh. I'm going to buy shirts in, in the in a department store. Department, maybe. okay, yes. Uh, I buy, uh, I'm going to buy uh, pants, uh, shoes, uh, Seres para el hogar, no sé cómo se dice, teacher. Household, household appliances. Just let me, give me a few seconds. Households, ah, okay. Yeah. Household items, maybe. Yes, okay. Household. Excellent. Okay, um... So basically, those are some of the things that we can do in some places here, okay? And I'm going to be explaining to you later some other things. And we really need to go to prepositions. Uh, which are the prepositions of place that you know? Can you tell me? Preposition. Yes. 
Next to. Okay, next to. Next to. Behind. Between. Okay, between, behind. Across from. Okay. On. On, okay. Okay, excellent. Yes, those are some of the propositions that we use. And the next activity that we are going to do is the following. We are going to watch a video. This is on the platform as well, about prepositions of place, okay? And, a few seconds. And then we are going to be practicing with a map that I have prepared for you, okay? We are going to learn also how to give directions in English. Vamos a aprender cómo dar direcciones en inglés. Por eso necesitamos lo que son las preposiciones, ¿verdad? Honestly, I'm really bad at giving directions, so don't ask me. And if you want to get lost, you know that that's what, what's going to happen to you, okay? A mí no me preguntan por direcciones porque soy malísima para eso. Lo voy a, lo voy a mandar a perder. Yeah, people said, okay, just walk two blocks and then turn left or turn right and you're going to see this or the street name is this. And I'm like, okay, salvadoreño, por favor. Because that's the only way that I'm going to get to the place. Okay, so we are going to watch the following video about prepositions and how to give directions, okay? Give me a few seconds and go. Okay, let me know if you can listen, please. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled it's across from the park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. On the corner of. Next to. On the corner of. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make for example the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. 
the U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. post office? Where is Second Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Between. Let's practice the following prepositions and restroom. Well, okay, just give me a few seconds. Okay, so this is the map that we have. And I just need you to tell me if the propositions that are shown on the video are clear or if you have questions. Hasta acá, ¿estamos claros con las preposiciones o hay alguna pregunta? Okay, so... No, we, estamos bien. For me, no, it's yes. clear. Okay. Okay. So, you can see that here we have prepositions of place. First of all, we are talking about the preposition on. That is basically when we are saying the name of the street or avenue. Okay. Con la preposición on, más que todo la vamos a usar cuando estamos dando lo que es el nombre de la calle o de la avenida. So you can see the example. Um, Jaime, can you read the example, please? No, la última. Es que no me aparece. Eh, que eh, maybe eh, the department store is on Main Street. Okay, thank you. Then we have on the corner of. In a day. Uh, let's see. Sarita, can you read the next example, please? Yes, the pan is on the corner of the First Avenue and Second Avenue. First Avenue and Second Avenue or Main and First? Ah, the, the video. Yes. Ah, eh. Es, es este. Yeah, can you read the. Corner, the, uh, the uh, puede ser este, the gas station. Is the corner of Main Street. Okay. The first. Okay. We are going to check that later. Okay. So don't worry about it. Uh, then you can see that the next preposition we have is across from. Okay. And the example that we have, let me see who's going to read it. Uh, Brian.
Hi, Brian. Okay, so we're going to have Josué Mauricio. Hola, hola. Okay, can you read the example that we have here, please? Is is actor a front bar? Okay, thank you. Then we have next to um, Kate. Can you read it, please? Okay. Uh, is next to the bank. Thank you. And the last one that we have there is between. Krishna, can you read that example, please? Realmente no, no puedo observar la imagen. No sé por qué. Okay. Sorry for that. So let me see what, what else we can do. Um, let me see. Sara, can you read it, please? It is, it is uh, between. Between? Uh, excuse me? Between. Between. The, the, the park. The okay. park. No, here, the sentence. Can you read it? Puede leer la oración, por favor? Okay. The bank is between the department uh, store and the restaurant. Okay, thank you. So we have that the bank is between the department store and the restaurant. So you can see that here we are working only with five prepositions of place, but we can have more than those. You were saying, uh, let me remember, uh, besides, and some others. Okay, uh, an activity or an exercise that was mentioned on the video was to give the location for the following places. For example, if I ask Karen, where is the hospital? Hello, Karen, can you hear me? Okay, Brian, can you answer that, please? The hospital is next to the used post office. Okay, excellent. What could be another answer? Está perfecta su respuesta. Veamos otra posible respuesta. It could be the hospital is in the corner of First Avenue and Center Street. Street. Okay, it's on the corner of. Remember that here we are using the preposition on. Okay, so it's on the corner of First Avenue and Center Street. Excellent, Graciela. Okay, let's see the next one the U.S. Post Office. Where is it, Jaime? Sorry, teacher. Yes, where is the U.S. Post Office? And the post the post office yes. uh, you said uh, the post office is on the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue. Okay, excellent. What would be another answer, Kate? Um, the, the 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 post office next to the hospital okay it's next to the hospital excellent okay let's see what about the coffee shop where is the coffee shop um let me see christopher <laughs> Uh, 
in the coffee shop uh, Marias? No, the coffee shop, house coffee shop. What is? Yes. I don't think. Uh, okay, you can see that is here. Yes. Yeah, I see. the coffee shop. The yeah. coffee shop on Second Avenue. It is on Second Avenue. Okay. Or what? is in the corner of on the corner of the Second Avenue and Main Street. No, why not? Because if you can see here, we have another place that mm -hmm. is called mm -hmm. Favorite Shoes. Tenemos otro lugar ahí que se llama Zapatos Favoritos. Entonces no está en la esquina. But the first answer that you gave us, Christopher, was correct. You can say that the coffee shop is on Second Avenue. And you can also say that it's next to favorite shoes. Okay. Let's see one more. Um, let me see. Let me check. Okay, so let's go with the drugstore. Where is the drugstore? Um, Josue. Josue Mauricio. Hello. Where is the drugstore? <laughs> I repeat the question. Yes. Uh, my question is, where is the drugstore? Gas station? No, the drugstore. Give me a few seconds. I'm asking you about the drugstore and it is here. Do you see it? Okay. A doctor no. is next a second Gracias. avenue. It's on Second mm. Avenue. Okay. Um, a trip center. Mm, okay, so in that case, you can use on the corner of the drugstore is on the corner of Second Avenue and. Center Street. Okay, excellent, Mauricio. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see, another possible answer for that one. The drugstore is next to the supermarket. Okay, excellent, good. Okay, for this part, is that clear for you or do you have questions? I don't have sure. Okay, no sorry. Adelante, después, después se lo hago yo. Please. Preguntas. Okay, teacher, eh, yo quisiera que, que me explicara un poco mejor lo que quiere decir on the corner of. En la esquina de. Ah, gracias. Eso es lo que significa, sí, permítame, ya le vuelvo a compartir. Ok, so for example, you can see here that we have the map, tenemos el mapa. Si yo quiero saber dónde está Bookstore, the Bookstore, yo puedo decir que está en la esquina de la calle Central y la segunda avenida. Ok, so I say. The bookstore is on the corner of, está en la esquina de Second Avenue and Center Street. What if I want to know about Maria's restaurant? Quiero saber dónde está el restaurante de María. You can say that it is 
on the corner of Second Avenue and Main Street. Okay, está en la esquina de la segunda avenida y la calle principal. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Un teacher podría, podría escribirlo, teacher, porfa. El, ¿qué? Las oraciones. Eh, eh, no, on the, eh, on the corner, on the corner of. Okay, yes. Okay. I'm gonna show it to you here because we have it here. There it is. Okay, acá está. You can see we have. Teacher, yo tenía, yo tenía otra pregunta. Okay. Este, digamos de que between tiene que estar este en medio. Pero Perfecto. si nos divide la calle, ya no, ya no podemos utilizar between, porque no. ya no estaría en medio, sino que tenemos que utilizar la across from. Excelente. Mm. Sí, ah, así okay. digamos está cruzando o está al otro lado de ahí utilizaría lo que es across. From. Ah, ok. Gracias, teacher. Y, y es lo mismo decir across from o in front of. O son in dos front. cosas distintas. Uh, vaya, cuando usamos in front of es porque está enfrente de. Digamos que acá los lugares cabal están cara a cara. Pero sí, también viene siendo lo mismo que ah, across okay. from. Sí, ahí quizás ya sería diferente cuando usamos la preposición behind. Déjenme mostrarles el mapa. Como quien dice en el buen salvadoreño, enfrente de. Ajá. Ah, tal sí, cosa queda digamos. enfrente de, de tal. Ok. Sí, si yo les quisiera preguntar por el hospital y me quieren decir que está detrás del department store, porque si ustedes se dan cuenta, la entrada principal, por decirlo así, de la tienda de, de departamentos está en Main Street. And then we have the hospital que la entrada principal está en Center Street. En ese caso, ahí yo puedo utilizar lo que es The hospital is behind the department store. Behind. Yes. Y en el caso acá que tenemos lo que es el parque y el movie theater, you can say that the park is across from the movie theater. The park street. Teacher, entonces, entonces, atrás, atrás de, es across from. No, behind. Oh, excuse me, behind. Yes, behind. Behind. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Is that clear now or do you still have questions? For the moment, it's clear. Okay. Okay, excellent. So let me share something right now with you. Give me, I'm going now. And for this activity, what we are going to do is the following. You can see that I have a little map. Okay, so what we are going to do is that one of you is going to be asking to another person for any of the places we have here. For example, uh, Beatriz, where is the hotel? The hotel is on the corner of the Third Avenue and Main Street. Okay, thank you, Christopher. So that's what we are going to be doing right now. So Christopher, you're going to begin. You can ask any question to any of your classmates. You can choose any of them, okay? Duarte. Okay. Hello, Christian. The park, let me see. Oh, okay. The park is on Main Street, 
between the hotel and the mall. Okay, excellent. Graciela, now you make a question to another class. Um, okay. Uh, Sarita Martinez, where is the post office? Excuse me? You hear me, Tini? Where is the post office? Where? Where is the post office? No escucho la, la última frase, hija. Okay. Post office. Where is the post office? The, the, the post office? Yes. The post office, uh, Ave, uh, uh, Fear Avenue. Can you be a little bit more specific, please? Puede ser un poco más específica? The, the, the post office, the, the post office, Fear Avenue, Fear Avenue. It's on Third Avenue, okay. Yeah. Okay, what could be another option? Let's listen to the others. Otra opción para los demás. Uh, the post office is on the corner of the main. Or maybe the post office is on across the bookstore. Bookstore, sorry. Uh, maybe. Okay, it's across from the bookstore. Okay, good. Okay, um, let's continue. Uh, Sara, make a question to another classmate. Sara Martinez, yo. Yes, you. Repeat, please. Yes, now you are going to ask a question to any of your classmates. Usted le va a preguntar acerca de un lugar a cualquiera de sus compañeros. Uh, where is a, a high school? Uh, Beatriz? I don't know if Beatriz still has problems with her microphone or if she was able to solve that. And if you want, you can make the question to another person, Sara. Where is a, a store Okay, uh, let's see. Karen, can you answer that question, please? A cualquiera. No, la que hizo Sara, la pregunta que ella hizo, ¿la puede responder, por favor? Yeah. Cool, right? The high school is in front of park, the park. Okay, thank you. Now you make a question to another person. Uh, 
Sarita, la otra Sarita. Okay. Where is where is the dog the drugstore? Okay, another option. What could be? For next to art museum. Next to the art museum, okay. Or you can also say that the drugstore is between the art museum and the bookstore. Book. Okay? Yes, between. En medio de. Okay, good. Any questions for this activity that we just worked on? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de esta actividad que acabamos de hacer? No, una pregunta. Eh, por ejemplo, o, eh, ¿se pueden utilizar dos preposiciones de lugar así seguidas? Como por ejemplo. The post office is on Center Street behind the the for example so utilizarlo okay. sí yes because in that case you are being more specific ahí está siendo más específico oh, okay. y como les decía o sea si vengo yo y les pregunto uh, where is cafe fulano for example si yo les pregunto por el cafe fulano uh, ya ustedes me dicen ah cafe fulano is is in front of the National Theater, está en frente del Palacio Nacional, um, a la par de, for example, okay. um, I don't remember which other place, the name of the other place that is there in that area, pero sí, se puede, porque ya estamos siendo un poco más específico. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Y en el caso de que, y en el caso de que una calle tenga tope, por ejemplo, estaba viendo en el, en el diagrama que usted nos acaba de presentar, que, por ejemplo, la, la drugstore está, eh, veo que la calle como que ahí termina, ¿verdad? En la, en la Third Avenue. Entonces, este, para referirse en, en el tope, de, no me recuerdo cuál era la otra calle que estaba ahí, Okay, I'll no sé share si it with you. Okay, there we go. Me hablaba de ese o del otro que tenía. La drugstore está... Ese, ese, ese está bien. Eh, veo que la drugstore, eh, the drugstore, sorry, eh, está eh, como la Main Street, ahí termina, ¿verdad? Entonces, para referirse que una calle termina al final de la Main Street, por ejemplo, para referirse así, at the end of... No sé si me explico. Sí. At yes. the end of the main street, sería. The, the end of the main street. Of the end of the main street. Yes. But you can see that here we have the, the third avenue. Tenemos lo que es la tercera avenida. Entonces ya esa también nos sirve como referencia. Ajá, ajá. Yeah, but you can say at the end of uh, main yeah. street. Between the art museum and the bookstore, or next to the art the museum. Bookstore. Yes, or okay. the bookstore. Or across from, no, aquí ya no te aplicaría okay. across from, porque ya está prácticamente libre. Sí. Okay? Yeah, I understand. Okay, I have a question. Okay, what is it? Eh, por ejemplo, el, el movie, Theater. Theater. Ah, theater. Estaba dentro del, del mall, creo yo. En el, en el, en el, en el mapa, en el, que, que, que nos presentó. O solo yo lo veo así. O está, o está behind, atrás. Okay, yes. 
Okay. okay you can see that this is the mall. We have the mall, uh -huh. and here uh -huh. we have the movie theater. Okay. Oh. You can say that the movie theater is behind the mall. Mm -hmm. Está detrás de el centro comercial. Uh -huh. eh, vaya, y otra pregunta para, para referirse a, a vaya, por ejemplo eh, vaya eh, como en Metrocentro me imagino que tiene que ver con la misma pregunta que acaba de hacer la compañera eh, como en Metrocentro el cine está dentro de Metrocentro okay. yes. para referirse a un lugar específico así you can say sería in, in the mall o, in the mall Yes. In the mall. In. Ahí utilizamos la preposición in. ¿Por qué? Porque está dentro de. Teacher, okay. y, what siempre, about y siempre. Uh, I'm sorry. Ya vamos con usted, Graciela. Ok. Jaime. Sí, y vaya, en el caso ese, siempre utilizaríamos una referencia. Por ejemplo, no sé si alguien ha ido al. A los cines de Metrocentro, veo que en los cines de Metrocentro, enfrente hay un subway. Eh, ok. Se, habría que dar un, una referencia así, tipo como que se estuviera dando una dirección de estas, o habría que ser más específico. No, the way that you're saying is excellent, because people won't get lost. La gente no se va a perder si usted le dice, ah, the movie theater is in Metrocentro, in front of subway or next to Tigo or between uh -huh. um, Banco Agricola and Tigo for example. Yeah. Uh -huh. Conozco metros también. No como la palma de los manos, pero sí. Ok. Wow. <laughs> ok, Graciela. Oh. Okay. I have a question. When uh -huh. can I use inside? When can you use? Inside. Besides. No, in, in ah, inside, inside. Yes. Um, okay, so for example, we were talking about the movie theater. Okay. Uh, you can say that the movie theater is um, inside Metro Centro. Well, mm -hmm. no, most of the time we would use only in. Ahí utilizaríamos solamente in. Yeah, inside, adentro de o dentro de. Um, let me, let me remember. Okay, so for example, inside Metro Centro, you can find many places where you can go to eat, um, have fun, make shoppings, for example. Ahí, dentro de Metro Centro, se puede encontrar muchos lugares a los que puede ir a comer, a divertirse, etc. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, another question. For me, it's clear right now. Okay, and what about the others? No question, teacher. Okay, are you sure no, about No question. Okay, right, entonces si yo les digo, Va trabajando con el lugar que decía el compañero, Metro Centro. Si yo quiero ir, veamos al San Martín. Oh. Do you know where that is? La panadería San Martín. Yes. Ok, where is it? Yes. Uh, it's, on, uh, it's in Metro Centro. Uh, uh, Ir al lado de ah. yeah, uh, San Martín, it's, on, it's in Metro Centro, next to uh, LG Store. Okay, excellent. To LG Store. Okay. ¿Y qué hay debajo del San Martín? Se me había, se me había escapado. ¿Y la tienda que está debajo del San Martín? ¿Cómo claro, se llama? Claro, creo. Uh -uh. 
Claro, creo que. Claro, Stor. Victor, Victoria, no. It used to be Victoria, but now it's another one. No? Okay, no, that one is papayas. No, sí. Para lo que no, no recuerden <laughs> o, o no han ido, ¿verdad? Es el papayas. Una tienda de ropa para mujeres. Really nice club. Really ¿De ropa like para it. qué? Para mujeres. Para. Ah, ok. Sí, tienen ropa bonita. Ya les he <laughs> Estamos haciendo propaganda. Ok, yeah. Excellent. Any other questions? Are you sure? Yeah. Sure. Ok. Um, we only have five minutes left. Solo nos quedan cinco minutos. Y tenemos que estudiar también cómo dar la dirección. Este, pero no sé cómo estamos hasta acá. Digamos de lo que es sección 1, 2 y 3, si les ha quedado todo claro, si tienen dudas. Okay, so I'm going to start making questions because you look so quiet. Ya que están bien tranquilos, yo les voy a hacer las preguntas. Okay. Uh, let's see. When are we going to use point? To? ¿Cuándo usamos el point? To? Uh, for the future simple or simple future. Okay. Yeah, we use it to talk about future, but, pero, un futuro que, futuro simple, no, pero el futuro simple es real. Ah, uh, okay, yes. Uh, present simple. I'm sorry? A, a present simple? No, it's not for simple present. Remember that going to is to talk about future plans. Es para hablar de planes a futuro. Habíamos dicho que los planes a futuro son... Es un auxiliar, auxiliar um, de, de, de futuro. Future plan. Ok, yes. Es un auxiliar que utilizamos para los planes a futuro. Y que es algo que nosotros sabemos va a suceder. O que vamos a realizar. Ok. And what did we say was the difference between going to and gonna? It's the same, teacher. But okay. I'm gonna. When I want to, when I want to write something, I, I write, I'm going to. But if I speaking with somebody, I say I'm. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Graciela. Yes, they are the same. The only difference is that one is formal and the other one is informal. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, las partes del cuerpo de ambos. Now you're going to tell them to me in Spanish. Me la van a decir en español. Veamos, knuckles. Comienzo con una bien Cuello. No, cuello. knuckles. La parte de acá del cuello, no sé. Knuckles. Uh, no, no digo, no sí. Okay. Sí, sí, no digo. Yes. Neck. Sorry. Cuello. 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 Sí. Ok. Shoulder. Sorry, se me congelaron un ratito o los perdí. 
shoulder. Hombros. 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 Okay. Feet. Hombros. Yes. Pie. Yes. Yes. Pie. Yes. Pie. Pie o pies. Pies. Pie. Pie. Yes. Pie. 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 Yeah. Excellent. Probably, yeah. Okay, let's see another one. Uh, lips. Labios. Labios. Perfect. Sí, ya vi que han estado estudiando. Perfecto. Muy fácil, se las he preguntado. Okay. Excellent. Uh, and today we were studying prepositions of place. Um, what is the meaning of on the corner of? In a skin, in a skin. Okay, perfect. Well, creo que ya son las nueve. Nos quedaríamos hasta acá. Y recuerden que mañana vamos con el mix. Okay, suerte a todos. Descansen. Traten de relajarse, ¿verdad? Y mañana nos vemos otra vez. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, anyway.